Hello, my name's Roy and welcome to another episode of the Astronomy Network. Today we'll be looking at some of the power boxes from Pegasus and how they can help you sort out your cable management and connectivity. So you've just started to get into astrophotography and you're starting to build up quite a collection of kit. At some point you've got a mess of cables and you really do need something to sort out all those tangles and that's exactly what these products are for. So in this episode I'll be looking at three products in particular. We've got the Pegasus Powerbox Micro, we've got the Powerbox Advance and we've got the Powerbox Ultimate. I'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison and then a little bit more of an in-depth look at each one. Now each one has a few different features which I'll get to a little bit later on but the main purpose is to control where all of your cables are going to. You can plug your power cables in, you can also input your heater bands and on the bigger two you can also plug in any USB data cables because they have built in USB hubs as well. Now a little bit earlier on today I got a setup going, I got one of our own Horizon scopes and a Lozmandy mount. So if I just uh, switch over to this that I set up earlier, this is a typical astrophotography setup. You've got your mount and your main imaging scope. At some point you're going to have your main camera and you're going to have a guide camera as well. You're also going to need a heater band for the front of your scope, a heater band for your guide scope. So already you can see there you've got you know quite a few cables coming off. You've got USB and power cable for your main imaging camera. You've got a USB cable coming out of your guide camera. Each of the heater bands is going to have its own cable coming off which may be running to a heater controller or another power supply. Then you've got your mount, you've got a power supply for that and maybe a data cable for your mount as well. So you're looking at six, maybe seven cables all in all coming off that setup. So if I just switch this setup now with a power box installed, you can see straight away that everything looks a lot cleaner. Instead of having all those cables coming off, we've now only got two cables. We've got one for power and one USB cable. Also another thing, by having all the cables in one tidy place, it does actually help with balance. Everything is you know, a lot more unified when you set it up. All the weight of those cables is going to be in one place. So there we go, you get the idea. What we're trying to achieve is a nice arrangement of cables. So let's get into the actual products themselves and we'll start looking at these uh, power boxes. So just to recap, we've got three products here. We've got the, the Micro, the Advanced and the Ultimate. Now the difference between them is mainly the amount of things that you can plug into them. The Micro is mainly for power and heater bands. The Advanced and the Ultimate also have USB hubs built in and RJ12 sockets as well. So starting with the Micro, this is the smallest one in the range. It really is designed for any sort of grab and go astrophotographer. I'll just uh, switch the camera here now to get a closer look. So total output of this device is 10 amps, which is pretty impressive for a, a device this small. On one side, we've got four 2.1 mil jack out all giving out 12 volts. You have also got an adjustable um, output on there as well so you can actually change the voltage of that if you want to say power a DSLR or something like that. On the other side we've got two RCA connectors for plugging in your heater bands as well. You've got your input on the side so 12 volt DC input also 2.1 mil and you've got your PC cable to uh, hook it up uh, if you want to use the software. Now in the box itself as well you do get a temperature and humidity sensor and you do get a, a nice big bundle of cables. You've got some 2.1 mil jack cables. USB data cable is in there as well. The power supply which comes with it is a cigarette lighter style power supply. Uh, you don't have to use that. You can uh, get a mains adapter if you want to as well. So moving on, we've got the next one up in the range which is the Powerbox Advanced. This sort of sits in between the Micro and the Ultimate. This is actually our best selling Powerbox at the moment. So let me just uh, switch it over again. So we have 10 amps on the micro, on the advanced we've actually got 12 amps of power distributed uh, to all of those ports so you can power, you know, a bit more power hungry things. We've still got 4 ports on there, all 2.1mm jack and we've got that adjustable power output there as well. So that's very useful if you want to drop the power down. With the software you can change that to 3, 5, 8, 9 or 12 volt at 3 amp. So if you've got anything like a DSLR camera uh, that's very handy. You've also got uh, embedded USB ports on this as well. You've got four USB free uh, slots on there and this one here is your PC output which again is USB free on this one. 
On the side as well, we've also got this little port, uh, which has got EXT, so that can also be used to control a external motor focus controller, or you can use that to plug in the humidity and temperature sensor. And finally, we've got the Ultimate, which is the biggest one in the range. Now, obviously, it's a much bigger body, but that is to house all that extra connectivity. Now, like on the Advance, you've still got your four main power outputs, um, again, sharing 12 amps or 12 volt each. But the heater bands, you can plug three into this one rather than the two. Also, you've got an improved USB hub on this one as well. You've got powered USB 3.1 sockets, four of them, and two USB 2. Now, the USB 3.1 is actually super speed, five gigabit transfer rates. It's an industrial grade powered hub, which is very impressive for you know uh, an astronomy product. Uh, the power supply on this one is slightly different, it uses an XT60 connector. There is a dedicated power supply that we sell for this. Another impressive feature is you've got a built-in motor focus controller. Now on the advanced, there was just a socket to plug an external one in. The power box is actually, the Ultimate has actually got one built in, so that's really impressive. In terms of the actual accessories as well, um, it's the same. You get the humidity sensor, you get all those 2.1mm cables, and you also get that cigarette lighter power cable in there as well. So that's it, that's the power boxes all side by side. Now which one you choose really does depend on your setup. If you're just starting out, you've just got a mount, imaging camera, maybe a couple of heater bands, then probably go for one of these two. If you want to have all your data cables in one place, then the advanced is obviously the one to go for. Now if you're an advanced astrophotographer and you've got many data cables and many power cables, you know, if you're you know, observatory or whatever is starting to look a little bit like a hen's nest, then this is the product that you really want to be looking at because this is really going to be the hub of all your connectivity and it really is quite impressive. Now when you purchase one of these power boxes, you're not just getting the box itself. You know, they can be used standalone, but to get the full benefits, you really want to be looking at using the software that Pegasus have put together. Now that software is going to enable you to control your heater bands. It will also let you turn off individual USB ports, which is pretty cool. And you can obviously regulate the power on the adjustable 12 volt output. So I'm gonna just quickly switch over to the software now and I'll give you a quick rundown of how that works. So the software itself can be downloaded directly from the Pegasus website. Again, very easy to install, very straightforward. All you need to do is install your drivers and the software. Um, the Micro and the Advanced use the same piece of software, which is called the Pocket Powerbox software, and the Ultimate uses a different uh, type of software. There's a specific one for the Ultimate. So this is the software here for the Powerbox Advanced and for the Micro. Uh, we have got everything hooked up here uh, on the desk as you can see now i'm not going to go over every single little feature of this software i don't really have time but i just thought i'd show you a few of the basic things so when you connect the device up to the pc you've got a few tabs along here uh, you've got control which is your main window that you'll be using um, you can uh, check on the temperature with this tab here you can check on how the power is doing focus now this is if you've got a external focus controller plugged in which is obviously only on the advanced um, but yeah let's look at this main window for now basically what this enables you to do is to turn on or off those power ports so quad output here these are the four main 2.1 mil jack 12 volt output ports and simple just turn them on and off and this is the adjustable power output which you can also turn on or on or off and this is where you actually adjust the power down at the bottom here this is where you control uh, the dew heaters you can just turn them uh, up or down or you can just click the auto dew here um, which is which is pretty handy now if you look at the ultimate power box um, this one actually has quite a lot more control so i'm just quickly going to flick my usb port over here So to connect the device, it's this button here. So there we go, there we go, all connected. So as you can see, rather than just being able to turn off all of the ports on or off, like on the Pocket and the Advanced, on the Ultimate, you can actually turn off each individual port, which is very handy. Um, also with the USB tab on this software, you can turn each one of the USB 3 or USB 2 ports on or off, so that's really handy. As I mentioned, 
it's got the external focus controller built in so we've got a dedicated tab for that now if we had a focuser hooked up to this you can bring the focuser in and out you you can um, change the uh, amount of steps it's making and that's all in this window here uh, the, the other tabs here are similar to what you get on the powerbox software these are your power graphs uh, if we had the temperature sensor in we'd um, see the temperature being displayed on this window here so yeah that's it basically very simple software to use uh, dead easy to download the ultimate software as you can see you know is quite a bit more advanced so if you are looking for that control where you can individually turn off power ports and each usb port then this is obviously the one to go for for you so that pretty much covers all of the software uh, another little thing I'd like to look at just before I wrap this video up is uh, a few of the other accessories that you can get with uh, these products. So if I uh, flip camera over on here, we've got a few accessories that are available. This one is a cable for a EQ6R mount, so you can plug your Skywatch mount directly into one of the power boxes. We've also got brackets to mount the power boxes on various places. Simple little L brackets that you can screw on to various places um, in the setup I uh, did at the start of the video I actually put this uh, onto a couple of the screws that are actually designed to hold the finder shoe and that, that actually sat there quite well but you could uh, mount it onto a dovetail bar or something like that and you can also get battery couplers for DSLRs now this one is for a Canon it's a DRE8 battery so something like a 500D 600D these simply just plug straight into the power box and then one end goes into your uh, Canon DSLR. Uh, we, we do also sell these for Nikon as well. There'll be links below to all the accessories and where you can find all of these brackets, cables and accessories. So let's move all these bits out of the way just for a second. So we're going to do the weight test now and I think we'll start with the, the ultimate, the biggest one. So I'll we'll switch this back over. So that's coming in at 300 grams which isn't too bad for uh, you know a unit of that size next we've got the advanced which is coming in at uh, 150 grams and the smallest in the range which is the micro that's coming in at barely anything we might need the smaller scales for this one There we go, that's coming in at 118 grams. So well, there we have it. That's all of the power boxes looked at and compared in this video. I hope you found it informative and if you're looking at purchasing one of these, I hope you found this information quite useful. I will provide links to everything I've spoken about in this episode below. There will be links for all the accessories, uh, the power boxes themselves, and there will be links to the Pegasus website where you can find all the information and all the software and the drivers. So that's me signing off. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.